if there is a week, okay, if there is a week that the Eagles don't screw up anything offensively, this would be the week to do it. Okay, the week where you really cannot afford to have mistakes because of your offense, where you're going, and you have a bye week after this week. We're going to be going over Tampa Bay's injuries, especially where the Eagles to take advantage of with apparently bad weather, what's going off the Eagles roster, um, and the Eagles are going to be very light offensively, and what they could do, what they need to do to beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. A lot going on, so let's get straight into it. Yo, yo, what is going on, guys? I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I hope everyone is enjoying themselves. So this is a really big week. You know, this is the last game before our bye week where we need to get this team healed up and ready for the rest of the season. But before I get into anything, this video is sponsored by Lucy. And this is a word from our sponsors from Lucy. This video is sponsored by Lucy. 100% pure nicotine, always tobacco free. Since the Philadelphia Eagles make nothing easy for us, and you need something for these games that give you a heart attack at times, I have just the solution. Lucy isn't like any other nicotine company owned by Big Tobacco. Think of it as the mom and pop shop of pouches. The Lucy Breaker nicotine pouches are flavorful. Each pouch holds a capsule that breaks open, releasing tons of flavor. Whether you want to buy one can at a time or buy a subscription monthly so it's delivered straight to your door. I have tried a good portion of the nicotine Lucy Breakers, and there are a nice six flavors that I've already tried already. Trying espresso made me nervous. It was like walking to a Barnes & Noble, sitting down with a magazine, Magazine, getting a cup of coffee and let me tell you it's not too strong but it's just settled enough to be like wow the cinnamon flavor is one of the best ones too because if you're a big fan of big red you're going to love cinnamon if you want to get on the fruity side of things with mango not too sweet not too strong just settle, just perfect. Spearmint and wintergreen are two of the most common flavors I think will be big ones. It's apple ice. Apple ice is an amazing one for me just because it's like going to the supermarket, buying that green sourish type apple and oh my God, it was absolutely fantastic. Love this flavor entirely and I'm definitely buying more of this. The top of the pouches actually come off and you could actually place your empties, your garbage ones in there so you're not throwing them or littering them on the ground. So I thought that was pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Just remember when you go on the website and purchase the Lucy Breakers, make sure you pick your strength, which is the nicotine. Four milligrams, eight milligrams, or 12 milligrams. I'm usually throwing one of these in, no doubt, before content, after content, before a game, during a game, after a game before dinner before i go to sleep yeah i got some problems i came through for you guys my eagles fans my supporters and let me tell you you got a promotional code here go to lucy.co slash joey shakes for 20 percent off your first order lucy offers free shipping and a 30-day refund if you need to change your mind that's lucy.co slash joey shakes for 20 percent off and always free shipping just remember, guys, Lucy products are only for adults of legal age, and every order is age verified. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. I want to thank Lucy for sponsoring this stream or video, and let's get back to the content. All right, guys, so obviously the, the Eagles are injured right now. We know that there's a lot of questions looming up in the air of what's really going on with this team going forward. Um, and first of all, to kind of go through some of it actually right now, um, it looks like uh, there was no sign of A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, or Lane Johnson at practice. Obviously, A.J. Brown, it's not really looking great that he's probably not going to play this week. I think we kind of already figured that out. I thought maybe there was a chance, maybe. And to be honest with you, maybe he can play. Maybe, you know, maybe he really could show up on Sunday. But the problem is, is that if he's only 85, 80% healthy right now and he needs another week, you know, another couple of weeks and, and look, look, AJ Brown is what he is. We know he's a superstar. 
but you have to keep this guy healthy all year because if he plays on Sunday, we win, and then he's going to be taking longer or re-injures himself or maybe that hamstring tightens up once again or maybe he's still in pain or something like that. You have to try to get your superstar back to 100% and keep him off the field as much as possible, as much as it hurts for me to say it. Um, Devontae Smith obviously did not practice either and mostly from NFL mandate because of the concussion he probably won't be able to play in the next game it's usually what's been the rule when it comes to getting concussions in games really you're just automatically automatically not playing the next game and by the way that scumbag that tackled him had a $4,600 fine wow absolutely disgusted with that Trevor Penning I don't even think he actually got a penal uh, you know got penalized for you know, hitting Darius Slay and driving him into pretty much the bleacher stands, pretty much. Uh, so I thought that was completely ridiculous with his uh, concussion, stuff like that. But I'm hearing Devontae Smith is doing well. So nothing really to worry about going forward. But you're losing Devontae Smith. Probably it's not uh, it's not official official, but it's leaning towards that. If they're not showing up to practice, they're definitely not playing this week. AJ Brown not playing. Lane Johnson has a concussion as well. If you guys remember, uh, Lane Johnson got the concussion, then he started puking all over the place during the game. I don't know if you guys saw that, but you know Fred Johnson came right in there. I thought did really well, um, you know. And on, on the on the good side of things, Makai Becton obviously, you know, uh, he tore a ligament in his finger. He's gonna put a little cast on it, and you could play with a cast, put a nice glove over it, maybe tape your tape your fingers together, and I don't think he'll have a big problem um, too much. So Makai Becton back into the lineup at right guard, Lane Johnson out, Devontae Smith out, A.J. Brown out. It's unfortunate. It sucks. It is what it is, and that's where we're at right now. Now, where I really have to go into this video, okay, is... Tampa Bay and their injuries and what's going on here. I think the main, though, apparently the, I don't know, there's storms going on. There's hurricanes going on in Florida right now. Apparently it's going to be really, really bad um, in, over there. So interesting enough, if it's bad weather, maybe there's a little bit of rain. I'm hearing it's going to clear up. I'm hearing it's going to rain. I'm hearing both. I don't know what's happening on game day. But, you know, the Eagles shouldn't really be phased by weather conditions because look how many rain games, you know, we played in last year. But the most notable injuries for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers right now is obviously defensive tackle Kalaja Kansi with the calf did not participate and obviously Vita Vea okay knee limited Vita Vea is you know he's one player that's gave Jason Kelsey a lot of you know even last year gave give Jason Kelsey a run for his money um you know and doing some good things against him so Vita Vea is is the anchor of that defensive line if he is not in this game Okay, you have got to run all over this with Saquon Barkley. 17 carries last week was very embarrassing. Okay, he had a really good game. I think Saquon's the number one rusher actually right now as we speak um, on this video. Use double tight end sets. Dallas Goddard has to be a big weapon in this game. Dallas Goddard hasn't been used like this in a while and got the best game of his whole entire career. Okay, 170 yards, you know, whatever it was, 10 carries. It's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, um, you know, so no A.J. Brown, no Devontae Smith. How do you compensate for that? Well, you really can't. So you have to take some of your less talent and you have to create, you know, and, and just be more diverse with your play calling. Use multiple running backs in this offense, okay? Use multiple running backs. Have Will Shipley out as a running as a wide receiver. Line some of these guys up. I mean, there's so many different things that Kellen Moore could do, or Nick Sirianni, because we don't know what's going to happen. And speaking of Nick, this is not a game that you could totally fuck up. I'm sorry to say, but we can with no Devontae Smith and no AJ Brown. And yes, I know the Eagles did it in the fourth quarter, but this is in game. We're talking about an entire game without Devontae Smith, not just half of the fourth quarter or whatever, okay? This is a game where you really have to utilize your running backs. I don't think it should just be Saquon. I think, you know, game one will get some touches, but I think Will Shipley should get a shot here this week and, you know, use some of his, you know, his dual threat skill uh, position as a as a back that can line up as a receiver. You can, line, you can rely on them up wide. You can do different things with them and create some mismatches on their linebackers. Okay, it's already enough this Eagles defense is going to have, you know, a big, you know, as 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 well as they played last week, you're you're facing Mike God. You know, you're facing sorry Mike Edwards. Sorry, uh, you, you're facing Evans. You're facing um, obviously Godwin. So and and Godwin's dealing with a little injury right now, so he's not playing 100 percent healthy either. So the defense is going to have a full test. Fangio played, uh, coached his best game last week between the four five bad sets. Fantastic. 
Uh, but this offense has got to roll. There is no excuse this week. Obviously, you're losing both your number one and one A and one B receivers, but that's why you can't really you can't really be mad at this offense. But when there is easy layup points to get on the board, do not go for it on fourth down in this game unless you really, really have to. Okay, because I it's already enough. Nick is getting a lot of flack for this, and Nick is already becoming more pissed off that he has to answer these answer these questions because he keeps making the same mistake over and over again. Okay, I think even Saquon Barkley should have had over two hundred yards in that game or close to it because seventeen. Uh, Saquon Barkley is perfectly fine. Okay, we're not overusing him. 17 snaps for Saquon Barkley. Uh, he's going to be nice and fresh for this game in Tampa Bay. And if it's bad weather and it's rain and it's a million other things, you got to use Saquon Barkley in this game. Todd Bowles thinks he knows how to beat Jalen Hurts because we're very familiar with this team because we just faced them twice last year, early in the season, beating them in a, in a close one. And obviously the playoff game where we pretty much were on the downward spiral and cover zero blitz would kill us constantly. So Hurts needs to stay in that pocket. We need more intermediate passes, crossers, hot routes, you name it. That middle of the field has to be used up. And Jahan Dotson, because your receivers, what is it going to look like? It's going to be Jahan Dotson. It's going to be Johnny Wilson and whoever else. John Ross, he's on practice squad. They might elevate him. I don't know. Dallas Goddard needs a big game. But Jahan Dotson, really, this is why you trade for Jahan Dotson for moments like this. And we brought him in to really have no pressure as a number three. But now he's got no choice. Jahan Dotson needs to show up where it's going to matter the most. And this coaching staff has to put him in the right position for these plays, as well as everybody else in this offense. Nick, don't be stupid. And please run the ball with Saquon Barkley. Make things simple, simple for your quarterback. Don't do these different specific plays that are out of pocket and just make no sense where Tampa is going to stop and read that every single time. This would be the perfect game for Devin White to actually be active as a middle linebacker. I've talked about this a million times. Why aren't they activating Devin White in this game? I mean, third, this would be the third straight week of being a healthy scratch. And being a healthy scratch makes no sense to me where you can put Zach Bond as an edge rusher. You could do so much more with these guys. And then when you put these guys in a five-man front, the offensive line is really just man-to-man -man all across the board with one linebacker, which will most likely be N'Kobe Dean, but put, puts more pressure on Baker Mayfield. Denver beat, beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They got, to, they got to Baker Mayfield seven times in that game. They got an early lead pretty quick, and, and Tampa really couldn't get themselves out of the hole that they were in. So the Eagles defensively need to get pressure on Baker Mayfield. You know, and, and we, we just need to get plain pressure. You know, this way, Evans and Godwin won't have the most spectacular games. I think we could do it. I think our secondary has played play well, but this defensive line has got to show up for another week, and Fangio has to dial up another big game. And offensively, I swear, I swear on my family, if they make some dumb decisions, it's going to be a problem. The biggest thing I'm going to be pissed off about in this game is if they don't take the easy points. That's where I've had enough of it. You don't have Devontae Smith. You don't have A.G. Brown. You don't worry about how good our defense is playing. Oh, I'm going to go for it just because our defense is playing good. Don't, don't put all the pressure on the defense. The defense is putting pressure on you to get points on the damn board. And that's where it should be. And that's where I am with the entire situation. Okay, so... I think they could still beat Tampa Bay with the weapons that they have. Even And it sounds crazy, even without Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown, because Dallas Goddard is having a freaking crazy year right now, and it could get even bigger. Saquon Barkley leading the league in rushing right now, using Jahan Dotson, using Johnny Wilson if he gets an opportunity, because I thought he had two really good opportunities, one for a first down, another one he actually had a clear drop, good pass by Jalen Hurts. And I think Will Shipley should be involved, have two running backs, have somebody start throwing to these running backs this week we haven't really done it too much uh besides you know obviously the first game we threw we threw a couple times last game we threw once or twice whatever uh the second game a couple times so I, I feel like the running back should be more involved if you're down on receivers running back should be more involved double tight end sets Calcaterra Dallas Goddard whoever they want to use um and I think we're set so we'll see what happens but obviously Vita Vea with the injury you look two defensive tackles uh, and, and Vita Vea not being in that lineup is yeah it opens up the it opens up the you know the rush game pretty damn good it opens up the rushing attack pretty nicely and if the weather is really bad in this game you know that's something else to really think about but 
other than that, guys, let me know what you guys think about. Um, obviously, if anybody's from Florida, let me know on the weather because I have no idea what's going on for Sunday, how bad the weather is going to be or if it's going to clear up or just be a wet day out. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the stream. It, uh, sorry, like the video. It does help the channel out tremendously. I want to thank Lucy for sponsoring this video, and I want to thank them so much uh, for that. Uh, definitely check out the code down below and check out the description for all the information on how to support the channel as well. And I will see you guys on the next one. Shakes what up, follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.